Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Happy October, the month of Halloween. It is approaching. I thought I'd better get my act together and actually film my Halloween haul in the month of Halloween so it is on before Halloween because last year I got my blood tutorial on a few days late. My bad. <laughs> if you guys have kids, you understand why shit is always late. Okay, so as you know, I was in LA recently for two weeks and as an Australian living in a country that doesn't really celebrate Halloween, they're starting to slowly embrace it. But by embrace it, I mean having one small little Halloween section in an entire store. <laughs> it's a kind of a letdown. I was so excited to find out that I was traveling to LA around the Halloween season because all the stores went nuts. And I'm so excited to show you what I bought. I'm going to start with some of the serious decor because there are a few strange items in here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. If you follow me on Instagram, I post stories like it's about 50 stories a day so if you followed me while I was in LA you would know what my husband bought anyway let's get started with something serious the first thing I want to show you is this gorgeous coffin clock look at the size of it I saw it and I fell in love I'm like I need this on my wall not necessarily exactly Halloween themed but gothic nonetheless and I had to have it look at that it's just lovely. So this was from, I will tell you because I know, this was from Halloween Town in Burbank, um, Los Angeles. And I bought a lot of really cool things from this store. And that is a Halloween based store that is open all year round, which I think is really cool. We just don't have the Halloween culture here where a shop could sustain itself and be open all year round. So yay! <laughs> the next is this lovely, cute little sign situation thingy. I've got a lot of signs, so <laughs> I need to, luckily I've got a big house, but I need to figure out where they're going. So this just stood out to me, the, the colors, the witch's hat, the happy Halloween. And I think it's really cute. Don't know where I'm going to put that yet, but that was nice. Continuing with the theme of signs, I have this sign here. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, yeah! <laughs> Witch parking only. Violators will have a spell cast on them. That's pretty cool. And this I can tell you because I remember was from Michaels. Another sign. This was one Von selected. Feeling lucky, psychic, predict the future, knowing the past. So he bought this for the recording studio that we're working on. And the thing that I keep noticing with all of the signs that I've seen is that they're very authentic. Like, they're not just squares. Like in Australia, they'll just do squares or rectangles. Where here, they, they cut shapes out and they, they put the little witch's broom on top. There's just... The attention to detail is impeccable. So this is just solid wood. Another lovely addition to our ever-growing sign collection. Okay, now I want to show you the two ridiculous things that Vaughn got. One turned out not so ridiculous. <laughs> I actually ended up liking it and it goes really well with another item that I purchased. But his first ridiculous thing, and again, I don't really think this is Halloween based. You ready for it? Giant toad. I mean, the only thing... <laughs> that makes this Halloween-y is that it was found in the Halloween section in one of the stores and it's kind of creepy but <laughs> apart from that I'm like why are you why Ugh, and the kids hate it they're, they're scared of it so yeah that's the first creepy thing that Bond bought the next thing I cannot throw because I will break it oh I literally cannot even lift it up it is so heavy is you ready <laughs> It was Frankenstein. It was just white plaster. They had other massive, <laughs> massive plaster heads and they're just white. Yeah, Von sprayed that silver chrome. But it actually works quite well next to um, the next thing that I will show you, which was a lantern. I forgot to turn my phone on silent. Whoops. Okay, this has the label on it. This was from Ross. Ross's, Ro I think it's just Ross, the name Ross. Um, I fell in love with this. I need to do a little shout out to Jewel Share. I hope I'm saying her Instagram um, name correctly. She's a lovely mother. She just had a new baby. I love following her style. Anyway, I messaged her and said, hey, you've just got, she's got photos of decor every single day, like constantly shopping. I can relate to that. I'm like, girl, where do I need to go? Tell me. And she sent me to all these stores. So really this Halloween haul wouldn't have kind of happened without her. So big thank you to you. How lovely is it? Like it's solid metal. Again, if this was in Australia, that would just be plastic. And it's got a little... Oh, I love her. Ah, ah. It has a reverb. <laughs> yeah, a little back section there so you can pop tea light candles in. 
Um, I did try that. The only issue I have with this is because it's metal, it's obviously a conductor, so it, it really heats up. So I've got to put it away from the kids and away from anything that might catch fire. Because I'm really clumsy with shit like that. <laughs> so these two together. Ugh, that bad boy. And this bad boy. <laughs> Can I remind you, we were visiting America, okay, so Australians, you have a suitcase limit of 23 kilos. This guy is easily 4 or 5 kilos. And this, this isn't heavy, this is light because it's hollow, but it's big and you couldn't fit anything inside it. So we left Sydney with one suitcase. Von had his smaller suitcase packed inside my suitcase, but we came home, we came home with six. We came home with six suitcases. Four were on the brink of being oversized, so four really large suitcases, and then two of the largest hand luggages you could possibly put on the plane uh, without, you know, getting in trouble. Okay, continuing on. <sighs> How cool is this? Also from Michaels. Witch and famous. Hell yeah! I just saw that and I thought this is going to make me look so much cooler when I film my YouTube videos. Mm. And I love that the straw is hard. And it's like totally Halloween themed, like an orange stripes. I just saw that. It's really good quality. It was $10. Really enjoying that. I'm going to keep that right there so I can stay hydrated. Let's continue along with the drinking utensils. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, I'm back. Next up, also from Michael's, was this lovely purple one. Can you see that that's a skull inside? Hopefully that is being picked up by the camera. <laughs> But I just love that and you know me, I love things that are purple and it goes so well with my nails Which are bloody Halloween nails Brought to you by Evelina Dolores <laughs> I'm an idiot Okay, next on the cups This was five dollars, I can't remember where this was from actually I think it might also be Michael's I just love the two-tone glass The kind of teal blue fading to green Again, it's not showing up Crazy well. Yeah, I will show it to you on a white background. Is that better? Super cute. Okay, next up in this epic Halloween haul are these lovely skull candelabras. I got two because I like symmetry and I sometimes buy two of everything all the time. It's a bit of a problem. I might need help. These got smashed to pieces on the way here. I tried my best to pack all the breakables within clothing and blankets that I bought. Yes, I bought. I bought a blanket. Um, you can see that's totally fucked. <laughs> but Vaughn did a really good job of super gluing it back together. There's a few things that we bought that was super fragile that like just got smashed to smithereens. I think it was just in one suitcase and I totally blame the people from United Airlines because there was a little ticket saying they searched our bag so all of the broken things were isolated to that one case. Not happy United Airlines. Um, also, we did not lock the bag. It was one of the bags we bought on the last day, literally the day that we left. And um, we didn't have time to set up the, um, I mean, it, <laughs> it only takes a second. Let's rephrase. We couldn't be bothered setting up the little pad code with the numbers, but when we got it back, it was locked. And guess what they set the code to? Based on what was within this suitcase, I guess. 666. <laughs> And you must be wondering, well, how did you know what the code did? I swear, Bon is like, <laughs> he, he knows how to do so much stuff, it's ridiculous. Like, in a, another life, he must have been like an archaeologist that, you know, puts together bones from tiny fragments, because he's really good at this shit. And the kids are forever breaking things. But, yeah, he did that thing that they always do in, like, Ocean's 12, where they listen to the safes and they, he hears the click. I'm like, dude, you're crazy. Anyway, he, he heard it and it lined up to 666, so there you go, a little story for you. Now, if you've seen my house, you know I already have a lot of candelabra, so I really didn't need any more. And this one, the story behind it is bittersweet because it's not exactly the one that I wanted. So this was from a shop called Marshalls, which I didn't know at the time, but is apparently like a really big discount store where a lot of, they buy stuff from other stores that don't sell, so they're only one-offs. If I had have known that, I will put a picture, bing, of the candelabra. See that one? It's big. It's really big. It was only $30. I didn't, like, I thought it was something they would have in stock all the time, so I didn't purchase it. I'm like, ugh, I'll just come back. And it was gone, so instead I got this little teeny tiny version. But it's still cute. I like it. It was also broken, one of the arms you can see here is being super glued back together. 
But you know, if I didn't tell you that, you wouldn't know that. And just don't buy a ridiculous amount of <laughs> Halloween shit when you travel internationally and you'll be fine. Okay, the next item was from Ross. I really enjoyed their selection of house decor. They had a lot of tea towels and the blanket that I bought was from there. Um, I really should have done this haul per store. But anyway, you'll figure it out, it's fine. So this is just a lovely mirror. I thought for sure this was gonna get smashed. Um, you can see my fingerprints all over it. So it's just very antique looking and it had a skull attached to the front of the mirror, which kind of makes the mirror itself quite impractical, but I just liked it as a piece of art. I thought, yeah, I'll find somewhere to hang that. All right, the next item I want to share with you is this little skeleton coffin. If you've watched the video that I put on, well, it is today, but it won't be by the time this video goes on, the Halloween shopping video, part one at Michael's, you will see me get really excited over this. I think I will film a little video of how these guys look at night because they're so different. You know, you don't get the ambience at all during the day. And you know, I'm all about ambience, ambience. So this is just a little skeleton dude and I, I would say perspex, I'm not going to say that's glass. Either way, I did think that was going to break, but it didn't. And the LED candle inside um, has a nice little flicker, giving it a bit of realism. Ooh, cup of tea time. One cup of tea with a straw. Shaken hot straw. Shaken hot straw, thank you. He knows when I'm filming, I need a straw. Hmm? Watch me spill that on my expensive lounge. <laughs> okay, this next thing was also from Ross. They had so much cool stuff. If you're in America and there is a Ross store near you, I highly recommend going. So this sign was $3.99. Again, so very authentic. Poison consume at your own risk. So <laughs> Vaughn um, initially hung this above our kitchen. <laughs> it's a bit of a joke because I burn everything. <laughs> so yeah, just... It's just cool. It spoke to me. If things speak to me, I, I buy them. It goes for anything really. Jewelry, shoes, clothing, nail accessories. Really anything. anything. The next item we would like to show you today is this red bat heart bottle. 100% glass, 100% pure. <laughs> I like that voice. I should do the whole video like you that. You should do the whole video. Yes. This one here, also available in green. Fear, death and magic pre-made potion mixtures. So these were from Ross, super cute. So that one has a little um, sparkly kind of raven going on. And it's got a collection of LEDs that seem like they're strung on a copper wire. So they kind of jiggle about, which you can't really see because the glass has this distressed look about it. it. This actually looks better during the day. The only thing I don't like about this is when, you know, you put <coughs> ambience and the lights are off. This sticker is transparent, so you can't read it anymore. Not the smartest. Oh, Vaughn's dancing for me, very good. <laughs> so, Bat's heart, bat heart, 100% pure, quite cute, and that one has a little glittery bat on the top, which is very adorable as well. These have been sitting on my bookshelf at the moment, which is turned more into a display just for cool looking decor rather than housing books, but four of the eight shelves do have books, so that's still cool. Da, 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 da. Thank you. <laughs> the next item is this little skull looking dude who has an eyeball in the flower. Rose. This was totally smashed to pieces. Again, Vaughn um, fixed that all up for me. And again, I've just been sitting this on my bookshelf. I just liked it really because of the eye. Hopefully you see it. The eye within the rose. I just thought that was, that was creepy. And the kids are really cute. They asked me about it. They say, Mom, why does a rose have an eyeball? Can you say I'm going to break shit? Yeah, I'm going to break everything. If it wasn't broken, <laughs> it will be soon. Okay, next up, and this was from Michael's. You saw me in that Halloween shopping haul. Get really excited about this. Pieces are still <laughs> dropping off it as we speak. Magic potions, charms, and poison. So just a stack of books. But this is actually, what was it, porcelain? Yeah. Porcelain, ceramic, something incredibly breakable. Plaster. Plaster. Um, it came in white or bronze. I. I prefer the bronze, obviously. So the ends all chipped off, all of the corners broke, but it kind of gives it some realism that it didn't have before. Um, I'm just glad it's still in one piece and the top also looks quite nice. Okay, next up were these coffins. I think for them to be displayed at full potential, they need to be sprayed a certain color. So they were in the craft section, weren't they? 
um, along with your raw Frankenstein head which is now looking a lot better now that he sprayed it so I'm sure these would be the same um, I don't know what color I would spray them yet and my dear friend Nadia hey Nadia <laughs> um, sent me a funny photo where she had one of these that she bought for like last Halloween and I was um, showing on my Instagram stories how they light up and she was like god damn I had no idea there was a switch <laughs> at the bottom and then it lit up I just bought it because it was a cool coffin and it does open up so you could technically store things inside of it. I will show you what these look like at night. Happy Halloween. I was just really impressed with the laser etching on that and you guys know I love my lighting. So I got that one. I got trick or treat with some bats on it. It might even be cool to display jewelry in, you know, if you lift them open and up like that. I will experiment around with that. Oops out. And the last one, this, how much was this? This was five dollars. Shut up! So this one says trick or treat and again the artwork caught my attention. Hopefully you're seeing how lovely that is. The spider, the cat, I really enjoy silhouette artwork. I haven't really ever done it myself. I'd like to because this would have a screen print really well, you know, where you just make artworks out of one colour. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It doesn't have hangers so I guess you just sit it on a table. but. Totally loving that. Next up are these adorable signs that we bought actually for our kids, um, one each for their door. So this is a little tricky to show. So warning, do not feed the zombies. <laughs> Steel's always asking about zombies and vampires and monsters and skeletons and things like that. He's absolutely in love with the movie series uh, Monster High. I just think he's adorable. He's four years old. And this one says, caution, vampire danger zone at dusk until dawn. They're just thicker cardboard, so you know, they're not made out of metal or anything. Um, but it was 99 cents, so who cares? Next up is this adorable throw rug that I bought. I don't know, I don't, I really, I don't know if I bought it for myself or for my, <laughs> my two year old son, London. Um, he's in love with the, I think it might be sour plus this orange one we've got with bats on it. And that's his blankie. This is so soft, so I'll try to get a good shot of it. It has gorgeous spiderweb designs on it. So this was $12.99 from Ross. And the other side is the most softest material I've ever felt. Oh, it just makes me want to snuggle in bed and do absolutely nothing all day. So I'm going to put that away, otherwise I will become very unproductive. But for $12.99, I was like, God damn, that is a bargain. But you know, I'm not very good at math. What I have realized is that a lot of $12.99s add up to a fucking lot. <laughs> Whoops. 